All right, what's happening everyone? Today I'm going to be sharing with you the access port, going to connect it to the Speed 3. I'm gonna show you how to set up launch control and then um, do some test runs, get it dialed in. Then I'm going to be doing the quarter mile and seeing what the Speed 3 can do uh, because this will also calculate what you can do the eighth mile in and quarter mile in, your zero to 60 and all that good stuff. So. Um, First off, let's uh, set up launch control. So you have uh, one wire that you need to connect to, to your car, to the access port. And uh, this plug right here goes into uh, the bottom side down here. There is a plug. Plug that guy in. And then you have the other side that goes to the access port. All right, once you got it plugged in, uh, you can see it powers up. Uh, the access port comes with a mount. I mounted that right here. It's just some double-sided tape. So uh, I can just put that there. And then that's my view from uh, where I sit. But right now I'm going to show you how to set up launch control. So I'll take this out. Okay. All right, so this is the main menu you see here. Um, we are going to go down to um, tune. This is uh, the tune tab right there. Going to go into that. Then uh, you're going to go up until that arrow right there is green. You click OK. <clears throat> you click OK on advanced tune settings. And then it gives you a warning here. And then right here has three choices. You have enable flat foot shift adjustment, launch control adjustment, and uh, enable wastegate adjustment. So um, this one right here, it's already green that I've uh, clicked it, but so, cause that's what we wanna do. So now that you've uh, chosen to enable launch control, you go back to your maps and uh, you're gonna have to go back to uh, change map and then right here you have to go and pick whatever map uh, that you're using because you have to reflash the map so uh, you can set the launch control so go ahead and do that it's going to do some stuff it's accessing the ECU data and this is where you're at um, this is where I had it set up at 3300 I'm gonna go actually down to 3100 or actually yeah I'll do 3100 and then you hit save <clears throat> alright this is uh, where you hit OK because it's going to reflash the uh, ECU so you hit OK and then it takes a little bit of time All right, then it um, after it reflashes, it's gonna uh, put you through a series of functions that you need to do, like uh, turn it to the off position right now for five to 10 seconds. All right, and that's how you set up the launch control. It's uh, pretty simple. We have the uh, GoPro set up. So when you have it set up, it keeps the, there you go, you have it set up. So you just dump the clutch and you're off. All right, that was fun, but that was more like burnout mode. So what I'm gonna do is uh, go down in the RPM a little bit. So uh, get a better launch and then uh, do the quarter mile. So I think I'm gonna take it down to um, 3,400 and uh, go from there. 
All right, so we're ready to do the quarter mile and what you do is go to the second tab here on performance. You click that and then it has 0 to 60, quarter mile and a dyno meter. Uh, we're doing quarter mile. So once you click this, it gives you a warning. Uh, it says uh, once you accelerate, then uh, that's when the calculation starts. Back in the garage here, uh, some definite room for improvement. That was my first time using the launch control. Uh, I just wanted to make this video on how to set it up and uh, what I could do. My best time was that 14.6 and then it just got worse from there because I was trying to like feather out the clutch instead of just dumping it, which is bad because you probably, you know, you burn the clutch uh, when you feather it like that. But just did three pulls, not a big deal. And uh, yeah, hopefully this helped somebody out and um, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.